hey guys what's up how are you guys doing okay guys so it's your girl Edith and you're welcome back to editorial and Emmy's family channel okay we do vlog you know some family you know stuff basically our lives so thank you guys for supporting us thank you guys for all of your love like your love is so immense thank you okay guys so um, yeah so as i was actually making up um actually remember a, a particular story okay and i just want to tell you guys like this video is basically a story time you know so what are you waiting for if you if you're here watching me and you are not subscribed subscribe to mama b and b family okay so you could so you could be seeing my beautiful adorable babies here and there <laughs> all right guys so so my master class is coming up on the 25th of november which is gonna be the last master class for this year so register for my master class you want to grow your channel you want more views subs and you want some tips that will actually help you to boost up your channel guys i'm gonna be doing that for you you know sometimes we need some ladder to climb and we need to learn some things to be able to grow okay so attend my master class on the 25th of november trust me your channel will grow your views will increase and your subscriber count will definitely definitely increase and you are going to be learning more stuff that will help you to grow your revenue too on youtube you know so register now send me a message on my instagram and do or my email i could tell you all of the details okay there's this guy that actually was dating few years ago just few years ago you know before i got married i was actually dating this guy and this guy was just a, a church will i say church shower, like he's just going from this church to this church from this church to this church and apart from him going from this church to this church he also has um he also has a uh, pastors a female pastor a male pastor and one other male pastor that's three pastors that actually you know call him every month and to pray for him and so he could send them money <laughs> now this guy actually reported me to those three pastors that he wants to get married to me and that they should pray for him or for us or something like that hold on in this particular video yeah i'm actually not casting pastors though but some of them eh, they're just something else they're just home breakers trust me trust me trust me on this they're just home breakers because some of them are probably maybe not called from god but most of them are actually called from god and they are real pastors yeah so the lady pastor there was just one time i i was just on my own in my in that my ex house you know and then the lady pastor called me and said she's a pastor and i'm like pastor who gave you my number and she has, she's like don't worry i want to pray with you and i'm like okay but in my mind i was like but i do not actually need your prayer i have my mouth i can pray because i don't even know who you are i don't even know who gave you my number how can i just start praying with somebody i do not know you know so i said okay no problem since i was my my mind told me already that it was that guy that gave that sleep that lady pastor my number because i've actually overheard him talking to the lady pastor many times sending him money mostly they call him at the month's end when he will have money and then he will now share money for them so sad but so so that day i i now said okay let's pray so he was now praying 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 praying, praying and the prayer was just taking too long i needed to just leave i was so uncomfortable you know he was just asking me some personal questions that honestly i cannot even tell you who are you to come and be asking me questions like questions like um 
and um, who is your mother what your what does your mother do um who is your father what does your father do and then and uh, your i mean do your siblings go to church and all of that stuff you know i mean those questions are actually personal for me to give it out to a stranger in which i do not know so after which i i was like okay this woman is beginning to ask me some questions that i will be very uncomfortable and I would be so unhappy if I give you the answer. So what I did was that I just got off the call. And that was it. I think this woman went to go and tell them my ex that I am I am I have a spiritual husband. Yeah. <laughs> because that was what this guy came to tell me. That it seems I have a spiritual husband that I have to go and settle and um, with my spiritual husband <laughs> first before I'll come and you know do physical husband thing that he's so convinced that I have a spiritual husband and I'm like where did this spiritual husband thing come I've never in my life heard of this kind of thing like I used to hear it in, in home video, but not in my dear, beautiful, innocent life. I mean, how dare you tell me that? So I was actually, actually pissed. And then I now said, okay, I think it's actually that woman that called me to pray with me, you know. And because I actually hung up on her, I think that was why she went to tell him that, oh, okay, I have a spiritual husband. You know, maybe that's why I didn't actually pray with, with her. Why would I hang up? Uh, uh, why would I hang up on you when I don't know you? Do you understand? So, mm, I, and that was actually it. And the relationship was actually be beginning to be like this. And since me, I'm just a woman of faith. I believe in God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I will go down to my knee and pray and be like, if this relationship is not going nowhere, let it just end without any any problem. Let it just end. Let the feeling just begin to die off because I know it cannot die off like this. Let it begin to go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. You know, before you know it, it is gone. And actually, that was what happened. And trust me, guys, this guy was busy sending money for this pastors every month end. and every month end they will call him he will pray with them and then you can't get the mind they call me they if if say i will get mine that time for slap that guy but you know when love blind your high you know go fit you know fit you know if you do anything you know that was actually what happened as at that time so I just wanted to come here you know tell you guys my experience tell you guys this little story of mine and that was how the relationship ended with, with between me and that guy who feels i have a spiritual husband now my marriage is a spiritual husband is marzi a spiritual husband because marzi is actually my husband <laughs> marzi are you a spiritual husband now let me tell you a second incident now long long time ago i think i don't i can't remember how old i was maybe i was like eight years old i was like seven years old you know all of that stuff but i could still remember that incident because it's it's it creates a trademark in my mind it creates a mark in my heart it is something that i did not actually like so that is actually the reason why you see that i kind of still remember it it's still in my mind it's still it still troubles me sometimes i kind of feel why you know why all of that why why you know anyway so this is it long time ago in lagos in my mother's house of course um there's this guy i don't know if he was actually practicing past uh, um pastor i don't know what they call it i don't know how they call their profession maybe he was actually a practicing pastor and all of that so the guy was actually a young young man but of course we were small compared to him let's say he was around that kind of 20 27 25 maybe i don't know because looks cannot tell the age you know so 
this guy was actually um this guy came and then he called some of us like in the compound that we were as at that time it was actually um, a very big compound with two gates okay so w when he came he was he was actually living outside the compound not inside the compound but since the compound was um a very neat compound at that time compared to the ones that was actually around you know because in the compound it is tarred like quota no i'm sorry it is tarred with a um, normal cement okay so it's actually neat we actually used to wash the compound like the the neighbors they ration the washing so the compound was actually neat and big very very spacious compound yeah so this guy he called some of some people some little little children like me as at that time you know to pray for us to pray with us to do evening service and all of that kind of thing you know so i joined them because the service was done in my compound and of course my mom was there around so it was actually like an afternoon where a lot of parents were not around okay and then this guy um used to do the service and this faithful day i joined i joined the service okay and you know he, he was praying praying and um sorry he was preaching and then when it goes to the time for prayer then he now started praying for for all of us one by one like putting hands on our head you know and um praying for us and all of that stuff you know so um when is actually got to my turn or when it mm -mm. after he prayed the general prayer so he now chose people like among us not even like everybody there okay i think we were like six children there both boy and girl so he was now trying to lay his hand upon one person at a time you know praying and asking and asking the person like are you a witch you know that kind of stuff you know that he wants to deliver us that at first he he threw it like a chorus question that whoever is actually a witch among us that we should come outside and um, so that he could pray for us and deliver us from our witchcraft <laughs> I don't know which state that guy is because I know there are some states in Nigeria that do, that does stuff like that. They just believe in this witchcraft thing. I don't know why. I don't know why. I cannot phantom it. Yeah, so so he now after nobody um accepted that he or she is he or she is a witch, so he now laid hand upon us one by one you know and then was praying and then was asking are you a witch you, know, you have to tell me let me know so that i could you know has his lay hand like that he's pushing like this like pushing you like this so you could fall i mean I'm, I'm, I'm actually not here to talk about pastors but this is actually an experience that i had a very long time ago okay but I don't know why they tend to do that. I honestly do not know why. If Holy Ghost, if Holy Ghost is upon you, nobody needs to push you for you to fall. Trust me. Like, yeah, that's just it. So he was not pushing us one after the other and like saying, Are you a witch? Tell me so I could I could I could deliver you and all of that. So some of them that could not take that push because the push was very very hard. And and of course our parents were away like no adult was actually in the company. So it was just children who came back from school and all of that stuff, you know. So some of them actually accepted like fifty percent accepted at first that they well, which which is like three people okay because we were six in total so when he now got to me he was now put putting his hand upon my head you know on my head and then he was pushing me and pushing me like the push was just too much i 
I almost fell like two times, you know, but I had to hold my grip. That's why I had no, I, I, I didn't have too much of strength as at that time. So he was not asking, asking and asking, asking again and asking again that we should tell him if we're a witch that he's going to deliver us. I don't know if in his pastor school they were actually telling him that he should go and be asking children who is a witch and who is not a witch and even if the children are witch they are not even witches in your house why don't you just concentrate on like praying for them and just having the service and let's just enjoy the service and sing praises and you know probably dance and just go you know than doing all of that and making us uncomfortable because i was so so uncomfortable at that time because we were children and you could you could not just you know kind of defend yourself and be like because you're believing that okay he's a pastor he's a man of god so you do not need to actually tell him to stop pushing you so that you don't land on the on the on the floor and where he was actually doing this thing was cl cl close to um um what do they call that in soccer way you know so he was asking me continuously i said no i'm not a witch i said each time he asked me i was said no i am not a witch each time he asked me i said no i am not a witch <laughs> so he now left us so the three people that accepted that they were a witch he now took them and now you know bought fanta for them like i'm like oh, okay why do you buy fanta for these people who now accepted they are they are witch and now did not buy Fanta for us that are not witches. <laughs> so when we saw that, we we're like, okay, we we're like talking among each other and be like, okay, maybe I'll go accept the witch or so that this brother will follow by me Fanta, you know, that kind of thing, you know. So after which he came back and then he was not asking us if we are witches so that he could deliver us. And then he asked the first person, the first person accepted, he asked the second person, the second person accepted. And when he came to me, I was like, but I'm not a witch in my heart. I don't even know what witch, what a witch looks like. Maybe it looks like a human being or it looks like an animal or I don't know. So, I mean, how can you, how can you force me to accept what I don't even know? Talk more of being it, you know. But at the end of the day, I actually accepted because the two, the, the other two people were just telling me, I said, I said, I said, I said, you know that kind of children thing because they feel that, okay, when you accept, the brother will buy you Fanta and all of that stuff, you know. So me, I can't follow accept, say, I'll be with you. <laughs> so this guy was not praying for us and not pushing us i deliver you blah blah i deliver you dun, dun, bam, bam, bam. oh oh man I, if anytime i remember this incident i tend to be like that was not necessary that was not fair you know you're actually forcing this we children to accept something that we are not you know because when i see some of those states that actually you know tag children as witch i i cry for them because i've actually been in such situation like just one hour you know in such situation and you are just forced to just accept even if you don't even know what it is you just you're just forced to accept it because you want to make the the person or the pastor happy or because you want to make it or just because you don't want that pressure anymore let him just feel like oh, okay he's a strong man of god and all of that stuff you know so i accepted and since then at any time for for me to remember this thing you know that anytime i think about it i usually don't get happy about i usually i'm i am usually sad anytime i remember that anyway i just wanted to chat with you guys have fun and let's just laugh and talk about things at the comment section but honestly any man that would just take you from church to church from pastor to pastor trust me even if that marriage lasts you people are just going to be unhappy because i've actually seen a marriage where 
I've actually seen I've, I've seen and heard so many things so that's just it yeah that's the end of this um video for today i hope you guys enjoy my story i'm going to be coming up with more stories as i remember i don't even know sometimes i remember I, I remember those things and when i say let me come and make video about it i would forget maybe i might be writing them down give you a story time of my life you know and all of that stuff so i love you guys see you again bye